by the end of this video you'll be able to add a rig to your camera by using a free add-on which is built into blender we're then also going to be animating this rig by using their controls so let's get started so once you have opened up your blender file you'll see that you're in your default setup so as you can see our default camera is just this one it doesn't have any rigs to control it you have to like move it around and go into this view then like move it around like that and that is kind of long i want we want to use a rig control like we use in humans when we're animating characters just like that so i'm going to delete everything in our cube and when you add in our normal camera to get our add menu we only see one camera option so we're going to enable an add-on which allows you to get more camera options with rigs and it's a free built-in add-on in blender so we're going to go into edit preferences and in extensions in blender 4.3 first you have to get an extension we're going to search up camera rig and you have to install that add camera rig install that and so that's going to install in like a second and then you have to go into add-ons and then you have to search add camera rig it should automatically enable it for you so just enable that and save your preferences once you've done that go back into your scene and now when you do shift a you will see you get three extra options and there's going to be camera rigs and i'm going to go through each one of them so we're going to go first of all explore dolly camera rig so we have this rig and you'll show that it has some bones attached to it these are known as um rigs attached to them okay so we have to access these rigs you have to go into pose mode so you can either go over here pose mode or you can do control tab which is the shortcut now this bottom rig over here controls every single thing so when you move it around it's going to move the camera and the other three rigs now this one over here controls the offset of the camera where the camera is positioned in the scene and so does this one over here on the other hand this one controls where the camera is focusing so where the camera is pointing towards as you can see and that is super super cool later in this video i'm going to show you how to animate one of these very very simple animation so now let's explore our next one. So we're going to do something somewhere over here. We're going to do shift A. I'm going to add in our crane camera rig. This one is super, super similar, but this is, it has like a crane on it. So let's go into pose mode. It's the same thing. This one controls every single thing. This one controls the offset of the camera where it's positioned. And this one controls where the camera is pointing towards the focus of the camera. But on the other hand, we can't really move this one. We can't really do anything with this crane over here this pole but for this one we can actually control it so if we rotate it we can rotate the camera as you can see our camera's main focus is the focus the camera is always 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 pointing towards the focus wherever our crane is it's always going to point towards our focus and then lastly we have this one the 2d camera rig so we have the 2d camera rig this one is quite different and I don't think many people use this one. This one is the same thing. So if you go into tab, this one controls the offset of the camera and so does this one. Controls every single thing. Now to show this one, you have to go into camera view. So I'm going to do zero to go into camera view. If you select this, if you move this, the camera view will also move. And this one is sometimes kind of breaks if you don't use it properly. As you can see it did. Like that. You can decrease the view if you want to focus on something very, very specifically. That is what is used for, okay? And that is the 2D camera rig, the dolly camera rig, and also the other one. So now, once we have done that, I'm going to show you that to quick a quick um, animation with the cameras. So I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to quickly go back into object mode. I'm going to do A and delete everything in our scene. I'm going to do Shift S and then our cursor to world origin. And I'm going to quickly add a plane which will act as a floor of our scene. And then we're going to add in a monkey to our scene. Maybe scale it down a bit, grab it, rotate it to make it a bit more better. Rotate it a little bit more, something like that. Let me move the floor somewhere like that. This is a very basic thing to show you how I would animate our scene. So we're going to do shift A, I'm going to add like a cone, and I'm going to move it right there, okay, that should be good, I don't, I don't mind going through the floor. Now I'm going to animate the dolly camera rig, so I'm going to do shift A and in camera, 
we're going to go into dolly camera rig now to animate our control rigs what we have to do first we have to go into pose mode i'm going to get our timeline up a little bit select that and i'm going to quickly focus focus on our monkey as you can see our rig this rig over here specifically focusing on our monkey and if you go into camera view is actually focusing on our monkey exactly like that i'm going to do add to add a keyframe in keyframe one i'm going to quickly move this up to keyframe 60 and now i'm going to go back and we're going to quickly move this so now it's going to focus on our cone just like that i'm going to go into camera view and then we're going to add in a keyframe and as you can see it's i animated the um, the focus of our camera now we can also animate how the offsets so we can go over here maybe our offset is going to be up here i to add a keyframe and then at frame 60 it's going to be like down there and look i don't even have to rotate it because our focus is right there i to add a keyframe and look at that we animated like a basic control rig and that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned how to add a camera rig. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video.